Light is mission critical for mankind. Light is the most important thing in nature that we have. If there would be no sun on this planet, in 20 minutes from now, there would be no life anymore. Innovation doesn't happen in a vacuum anymore. It's something that you do together. It's really important to team up with designers, specifiers, engineers, architects, specialists in sciences and put together a team that collaboratively works on the same objectives. Open innovation is all about what you do with all these kind of game-changing technologies. I think that makes it so relevant to collaborate. And on top of that, it makes it so much fun because we learn every day from the teamwork, you know, with the lighting designers, with the architects. We take the architects with us in the lab and in the application centers that we have. They see people who know a lot about light, but about the light that we already make, not about the products of the future that we can co-create together with those designers and architects. It's a very personal question, of course, to talk about inspiration because we all experience that differently. And I think, roughly speaking, there are designers who are inspired by the world around them. And there are designers who are much inspired by the world inside them, if you like. But I'm inspired by what people do in the light that I make. How they work, how they live, how they relax, how they get excited, how it can captivate them in a story in the theater, how it can tell them about the artwork in the museum. The design function in Philips Lighting really works a great deal with people research and really observing behavior and the psychology of people, everyday normal people in the city, at work, in the hospital. We always start the design process by looking at them and understanding what motivates them. Light has always been so important in architecture. If you would be an architecture student, you would mostly study light. You would study how light shapes the spaces, how the shadows change over the course of the day, how people would move through spaces being attracted by light. It was a main component of architecture. And then came electric lighting, and it kind of functionalized everything. Suddenly we made light just for functionality, because we could turn it on and we could turn it off. Now with the latest technologies, the LEDs enable us to embed lighting in building materials, for example. We can do things that we could never do, that the architecture student of the 19th century could only dream of, but he could never make it real, and we can make it real. Cities today need more campfires, because a campfire is a pure form of light. It's beautiful. There's no story about the light. It's just the light of the fire. Around it, the stories come and the connections and you make friends and you make music and you eat something. So besides that, or maybe moreover, light is something so beautiful and expressive. It's an art and a science all at the same time. There is nothing like light in the world and that's why I'm so passionate about it.